Hello everyone, this is ASUS laptop. The model number is A516J. So today in this video, we're gonna upgrade the SSD plus we're gonna replace the thermal paste. So that's the model number at the back. First, we don't know which SSD that it takes, but we're gonna open up and check. There might be two types of SSD it takes, one M.2 NVMe, M.2 SATA. So let's open up the back cover by removing all the screws from the back and then we'll get access into it. We'll disconnect the battery first before we touch any other component from the motherboard. We'll make sure we disconnect the battery. So I do have the automatic screwdriver because I do open every day and it's a kind of very painful when I use the manual one. I would suggest you can use manual Phillips screwdriver should be fine. There are two types of screws. Some of them are short and most of them are long, so keep it separate. Those are identical anyway. Take a flat opening tool and try to spudge it that way, very gently. And it should come off easily. But if that is first time that you are taking out, taking apart, then it might be a little bit stiff. So give it a try. If you do have plastic flat opening tool, it would be much better than this metal just need to make sure all the screws already taken up otherwise it don't come out yes that's okay now I can see here it takes M.2 NVMe SSD and also here 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or SSD space but unfortunately there is no any SATA to flex cable for the motherboard connection which is missing so we don't be able to put 2.5 inch SATA drive unless there is a flex cable from the SATA to the motherboard so the battery has disconnected now we can take the faulty SSD out or if you want to upgrade it for the space bigger capacity you can just take this out like this and you can install NVMe M.2 NVMe SSD and there is a screw to secure this SSD and afterwards we're going to unscrew the four screws from heatsink just to check if the thermal paste is in good condition if it dried out then we're going to reapply it and before we apply we're going to give it a clean and then we're going to apply it and also if you find your fan is i mean cpu fan is not clean then you can give it a clean but i'm really surprised because the actual fan and the heatsink are not in the same position there is a gap and I don't know how does this work so let's take out the four screws I would suggest you please use the right screwdriver otherwise the screw could get snapped easily and that would be pain to be honest to take out the heat sink so I can see the thermal paste already dried off give it a clean with rubbing alcohol 99.99% would be best or if you do have any sort of PCB cleaner also should be fine I'm gonna use the blue towel as you can see and that is the one 99.99% rubbing alcohol spray a little bit and just wipe it off and it should be fine and when you try to replace uh, any thermal paste I would suggest you get the Arctic 5 the best quality one because there are a lot of cheap one in eBay those are technically you know no longer effective after a couple of months I use this one the result were brilliant previously so just a little bit put it back the heat sink give it a clean the heat sink before you put it back don't forget the four screws and pretty much that's all 
and after that we're going to put back the back cover and it should be fine. 